Today, the number of objects over 10 cm in space is estimated to 34,000. In order to preserve space as much as possible and avoid any further pollution, new satellites are designed to disintegrate 100% at the end of the life. The old carbon-coated titanium tanks don't disintegrate completely. This is where aluminium comes in. Aluminium with a melting point around 600 degrees will be completely consumed when the satellite comes back on Earth. This avoids any collateral damages. And what is the most reliable process to assemble aluminium? Friction steel welding, of course. To perform this technology, also called FSW, the only consumable is this tool, which consists of a pin and a shoulder. The pin enters in the material thanks to the rotation and friction of the shoulder on the parts. The materials are welded. This process is a cold welding technique involving no material input, few consumable, one tool equal to one kilometer of weld. Welding of aluminium grades 2000, 6000 and 7000 without any hot cracking or porosity. Outstanding repeatability resulting in 100% sealing repeatability, less reduction in mechanical properties than with other processes. The heated affected zone retaining high mechanical strength thanks to low temperature welding. Let's now talk about the aluminium tanks used in space. That's what we are interested in today. We will show you the aluminium tank developed in collaboration with Kness. It's one thing to weld several aluminium parts together to form a tank, but it's quite another thing to design a given volume to withstand the operating pressure while remaining as light as possible. That's why Stewell wanted to prove that FSW is not so complicated. We've designed this tank from concept to welding as an example of what can be achieved with this super technology. We have implemented the friction steel welding process using an FSW head mounted on a CNC machine, giving it this welding capability. In this video, we will explain everything and reveal the complete process. Please, note that is not the only solution, but only one of many of them we'd like to present to you right now. From the preliminary design stage to the pressure test, here we go! When designing an FSW product, the first step is to understand and analyze the type of weld and the shape of the product that seems to fit best. For this project, we have identified two types of weld, orbital and radial. After analysis, radial welding appears to be the most suitable solution for several reasons. This configuration is performed in a single plane. The part is fixed with a clamping to hold it in place during the welding process. The tool of the FSW head follows a path in this welding plane, which is specific to the desired project, in this case, a circle. In this application, radial welding offers a number of advantages. The handwheel function is performed directly by the tube. So there is no need for additional parts, which reduce the costs. Fixed tooling is much simpler to design, manufacture and use. As previously mentioned, the FSW tool moves only in one plane. The only drawback is excess material in the area to be welded. However, it does have one significant quality, a greater homogeneity of the heat affected zone. We started by asking ourselves about two different shapes, pill shaped tank or spherical shaped tank. Indeed, with the same internal pressure and a larger contact area, the stress exerted near the junction is much higher in the sphere design. In addition, the internal square surface area is higher with a pill shaped tank than with a spherical shaped tank for the same volume. A bigger thickness of this junction zone is necessary to contain the maximum expected operation pressure and approach the bursts. As mass is an important development aspect of the project in view of its application, we naturally turn to the cylindrical solution to continue our study. Once the type of weld and the shape have been selected, we can move to the design of the junction between these parts. This is indeed the most complicated area to draw and understand. Here, the welded area is subject to peeling. To avoid this, we add a thread. This also relieves the placement and stress in the welded zone. Once the general solution has been found, the next step is simulation. 
The aim is to reach the best compromise between the weight and the mechanical resistance. A very large number of iterations are then performed here. In total, more than 50 profiles have been drawn and simulated before to reach the ultimate goal. One fine morning, we obtain coherent and satisfactory simulation results. Now we do have the final design, it's time to manufacture the tank. The aluminium tank is composed of two different parts, the tube and two ends. To make assembly easier, we have designed a notch profile. In this way, and with the help of a special tool, we can screw the two heads together. And the tank now is ready to be welded. For friction steel welding, the part must remain in place during all the operation, so a dedicated clamping is required. The clamping jig design for tank welding involves several critical steps to ensure precisely position and robust support during the welding process. The first step in the clamping jig design is to align the shell with the machine reference tooling and securely clamp it. This ensures the shell remains stationary and properly aligned along the X and Y axis during the welding process. Proper positioning and support are essential for maintaining the welding quality. The second step is finally using a screwed in mask to ensure the Z axis, preventing movement during the welding process. This step is crucial for maintaining stability and precision, ensuring high quality welds and the integrity of the tank structure. We start with the weld number one, inside diameter. This configuration may reveal some hooking effect on advancing side. Hooking effect is like a sticking area between the two parts which are supposed to be mixed together. This is a defect and we do have a plan to counter it. We apply two concentric welds in opposite direction with one millimeter gap between both diameter parts. With this configuration, we have two times advancing sides in the same area and our expertise reveals no more hooking effect. So two welds are required to join each side of the aluminum tanks. A final deburring is realized to clean up the weld. Now it's time to check our welding. Here we proceed to air leak test. The inside of tank is raised to 7 bar and then immersed into the water. The test is successful if there is no bubble. No bubble, no trouble. When this initial test has been passed, we proceed to the destructive test. First, we've carried out metallographic cross-section to check for any porosity within the weld. After the initial destructive test with the second tank, we conduce the pressure test until the point of bursting. The pressure is gradually increased in stage until it reaches the operating pressure of 180 bars. Upon reaching this level, the valve were closed for 30 minutes to verify the absence of leaks. The first stage is complete. The tank can withstand the operating pressure it will encounter during its service life. After 180 bars, we go back to zero level to check that the pressure has not caused any deformation. After stress, if the material returns to the initial dimensions, we speak about elastic region. Then we add 20% more of the working pressure to check that we remain in elastic range. So it is about 216 bars. 20% pressure test. Here, one more time, mission complete. Only the burst test remains to be passed with a coefficient of 1.5. It means 270 bars. We are going to pressurize the tank until it bursts. And I hope it does after 270 bars minimum level requirement. Finally, the tank bursts at 324 bars. And there you have it, the simulation of aluminium tank welded by friction steel welding. We hope that seeing the process from A to Z will inspire you next projects and will be there to support you. At Steelweld, we turn ambitious concepts into successful outcomes with our expertise in friction steel welding. This super technology can be used to manufacture a wide range of parts in different industrial sectors, such as liquid cold plates, heat sinks, stiffed panels, buzz bar and much more. 
Check out our other videos to see all that can be done with friction steel welding. Don't leave your project in orbit. Contact us today to find out how we can help you to reach for the stars.